Hi guys, so I'm back with another book review for you. Um, this time I decided to read something a little bit different. I've been practicing for, I had been practicing for some tests that I had to take for graduate school and um, I started reading about a lot of historical fictional pieces and I kind of got inspired to read something a little bit different. So today I have a book review on Anna Karenina and it's by Leo Tolstoy. He is a Russian author and is set and was written in the late 19th century. So let me just say that um, when I first went to the library and saw this book and saw how thick it is, it is actually in eight parts. It's written in eight parts. Um, I was kind of like a little overwhelmed. Like that's a, that's a lot. But I took my time and I read it and when I got to the end I was floored. It is so, it was a phenomenal book. Um, so many different themes are presented in this book from uh, politics from living in the city the city life to living in the country to being unfulfilled in relationships uh, to religion um, chasing things and just trying to fill voids in life and I mean it just covered the whole spectrum of different themes and I was just really really enjoyed this book um, the premise of the book um, of course is focuses on Anna as the main character however it follows several different characters throughout the book. Each of the characters are interconnected, um, different families, um, different situations. But let me just say that what I got from the book at the end was that you have to be happy with what you have. And the old cliche, the grass isn't always greener on the other side is very prominent for this book and I think that in a nutshell that's basically what the author was trying to convey um, in writing this book and did a phenomenal job. Um, a lot of the issues that the book deals with and the characters go through are some of the things that we go through every day. I'm sure that um, people have questions about, you know, spirituality that maybe they don't have, they feel like they don't have the answer to. Um, people who are in relationships and don't feel like they are they are fulfilled in their relationship and always looking for something else or something to make them happy or, um, I mean, this book really made me think about even my own life and how we sometimes view things the way that we do. And it just covers so many things and it's so funny that you can read a book that's from that's that was written in the 19th century but a lot of the themes and a lot of the issues that the characters go through are the things that we still go through today and it was it was very easy to read um i will say that if you are not and i'm not even gonna say that you're, if you're into reading about politics because the whole book is not about politics but i will say that a lot of the areas of the book focuses a lot on um, the political system as well as there are parts in the book that focus a lot on agriculture um and you know the work field of farming and uh a lot of imagery in those um circumstances and sometimes there's a there's a part in the book where you feel like it's it's kind of getting off track or it's kind of in this in this box like this political box or in this agricultural box but the whole book was absolutely awesome um i really 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 thoroughly enjoy reading this book and i definitely would recommend for you to read it as well um this was my first russian novel that i've read and i really liked it i was i was online and i was reading some things about uh you know literature and it was saying that a lot of times Russian literature is you know people don't really have the best reviews on it but I can say that this novel is awesome and it's um, been said to be one of the best novels that's ever been written so I definitely recommend everyone to read this book now uh, for all you Eric Jerome Dickey fans if you re if you watch my channel you've seen me do reviews on the series with the character Gideon who is um, basically a contract killer and the first book in the series was Sleeping with Strangers. The second book, well, let me show it to you first. The, that's the first book is Sleeping with Strangers. The second book is Waking with Enemies. The last book from the series is Dying for Revenge. And I did a, I think this was probably the last book that I did a review on but I'm not exactly sure. And August 25th available is the next book in the series 
and this is called Resurrecting Midnight. Yes. So I'm very excited to see where Gideon is, what he's doing, what the his next adventures are, and I'm gonna try to start reading this tonight. Have a lot of schoolwork and stuff going on. I'm going back to school starting tomorrow for uh, my graduate studies, and so I have a lot going on. But I always try to make it a point to have a time for me where I can just sit and I can read something that I actually want to read, as opposed to always reading textbooks and things of that. Everyone needs that time, so I'm so excited to read that, and I will definitely be back with a review. So you guys, comment, rate, and subscribe. Please go out and get um, Resurrecting Midnight. Let's read it together. Let's um, make some discussions about it, you know. Let me know what you guys are reading. Give me some ideas about the next book that I'm going to read after this. So subscribe, rate, and read. Read, read, read. Reading is so much fun. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.